the people that's going on how is everybody doing how everybody doing out there i guess you're having a wonderful trading week i'm happy more and grateful to say that and i hope i can keep the mojo and the momentum throughout the whole week that's a boy harlem and i'm back with another video so on today's video there's going to be a trade breakdown or a market review today we're having the united states dollar versus the swiss franc the usd chf We'd be looking for potential direction. You, know, you guys know it for the coming six months or for the whole year, right? So like you guys know it, financial disclaimer, everything I say or do, it's based off of my own experience and my own opinions. It might happen. It might not happen. The only thing we can manage to do is to just follow our plans, follow our rules, and to just stay disciplined, right? And now... People, never mind the sounds and the noises. I'm in my bedroom. I'm just relaxing in my bedroom today. It's a Wednesday. I don't feel like doing nothing today. So in that way, I'm just relaxing in my bedroom. I'm trying to upload this video so I can put game into someone's life out there, right? So let's look at this. Look, looking at the structure of USDCHF from the monthly time frame, prices being moving in lower lows and in lower highs, right? That's a fact. We can lie about that. We can dispute that. The, the Swiss franc has been having more power or has been having more value compared to the dollar, right? You can see by the overall movement, right? From the past years, people, from the past years up and until now. So obviously with now price moving in lower lows and in lower highs and price moving in support and resistance, the only thing that I can be looking for, the only thing that I'm focusing on now on this current structure, because we can tell that we did do it, we did mark out our support, we did mark out our resistance, and we printed out our support, right? So obviously with price printing out support and price printing out resistance, the only thing that I'm waiting for is for a bullish or a bearish breakout. I repeat, people, or price printing out support and price printing out resistance. The only thing that I'm comfortably waiting for is for price to close below support or for price to close above resistance to look for my overall move. Without that, I'm just trading support, trading resistance because price is not is not breaking out. We're still holding our sideways movement, right? So my monthly time frame. So with this that I have on the monthly time frame, if I can get something like this on a monthly time frame, the only thing that I'll be looking for is for price to break out. As long as price don't break out, then I'm trading support and resistance, right? So that's my anticipation or that's my outlook on what on the monthly time frame on USDCHF. I'm looking for price to close above or for price to close below, or I'm simply trading support and resistance. Looking at the weekly. So looking at the weekly time frame now, let's just see. Yeah, you can tell the price did respect support. So we broke out and broke back in. We did hold resistance, right? With no breakout, with no breakout of resistance. So now, because I also did print out my word, my key level, which would be bullish above and bearish below. Looking at current price, we kind of like bearish below. So obviously with price being bearish below, the only thing that I'm waiting for now is for price to get to my support and give me signs that we are failing to break out and look to reverse or look for the close below, look for the retest and look for signs that we are failing to continue above and look for continuations to the downside. Because we're trading far from resistance right now, I won't focus on resistance. I'm only focusing on what? On what? On my key level and my support zone, right? At the same time, the only thing that I can be also looking for is that if price pushes to the upside and comes back to my key level and falls to break or falls to close above, then I'll also look for what for that reversal. But if we get a breakout, then we simply continue what bullish above our key level, bearish below our key level. So on the monthly on the weekly time frame, all I can say is now the only thing that we're looking for, we're looking for more patience into saying. When we get to our support, are we going to break out or are we going to fall to break and look for those what for the bullish momentum and the bearish depletion and look to be bullish. But if we get price closing above, if we get price closing below our support zone, then let's look for signs and confirmations that we are failing to continue above 
and look forward for that momentum and continue to the downside. If price gets to... Oh, are you still watching the video right now? I'm sorry for the interruption, but now you guys know it that the HSCC and Circle of Traders, they have partnered. What is the HSCC? The HSCC is the Highly Street Crypto Traded, it's the Highly Street Crypto Club, which was started and founded by Mr. Raf Say with a 12 year experience in the crypto markets. The HSCC is a arbitrage crypto trading platform, which has led into becoming one of the biggest trading platforms in the world. At the HSCC, they are highly committed into building an ecosystem arbitrage trading crypto platform which generates profits for all retail investors around the globe. They have four different plans to earn and invest hefty profits from. You don't want to miss this deal. They have as little, they start with as little as $50 up and until an unlimited funded deal, right? It depends on what you're comfortable with and what you'll be willing to take part with, to take part from. I'ma leave the link on the description. I'ma leave the link on my bio and I'ma make sure that Circle of Traders and the HSCC help you out in the crypto markets from beginner up and until to professional all the way you don't want to miss this great deal take part into it and something from it and let the hscc and circle of traders be there for you in the crypto markets we sign it now our key level let's look for signs that we are failing to break above and uh, and do what continue to the downside below but if you get a break above or a close above then let's simply continue bullish above our key level, right? So you guys can even see that this is kind of like correlating on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, prices support, prices resistance. We're only looking for what for the bullish breakout or the bullish breakout. Without no breakout, we're trading support and resistance. On the weekly time frame, we're waiting for price to get to our zone and get to the we're waiting for price to get to our support zone and give us signs that we're willing to break, get to our support below and give us signs that we're breaking out. But if we ain't getting enough of that, then let's look for what for price to get to our what to our key level and gives us signs that we are willing to continue up above and look to be bearish on our key level so on the monthly time frame all i can say is now on the monthly time frame there's nothing much that i can say on the daily time frame because you can tell the price is what price is clearly moving to the downside so obviously with now price moving like this to the downside the only thing that i can say is with yeah. this lower low and the lower high and this lower low and the lower high if we get a lower high right there, then I continue to the downside. But if we continue moving above and continue bullish, then obviously we continue bullish. But like I say, on the daily time frame, there's nothing much that I can say and there's nothing much that I can do, right? So we move to the what? So the four hour, which is our only, this is the last time frame. So looking at the four hour now, you can tell that prices even did what? Prices even gave us a what? a diagonal resistance right there we have our diagonal resistance or we have our brick wall right whatever that you call it diagonal resistance or a brick wall or a trend line that's just all up to you right all i see it's a diagonal resistance and a brick wall so the price did tap price tapped once pushed to the downside came back again and tapped again pushed into the downside tapped again pushed to the downside came back again pushed further to the downside, moved sideways, came back again and pushed further lower to the downside. Now price is kind of like pulling back. So now, because now I'm trying to, because now I'm trying to make someone understand that obviously, because now I'm trying to make someone understand that obviously for me looking for what, for me looking for price to come back to my support and give me signs that we're failing to break and look to be bullish. Or for me looking for price to come back to my key level and give me signs that we're failing to break and look to be bearish. The only things that I'm looking for now is that if we get price closing above my key level, if we get now price closing above my brick wall or my trend line or my diagonal resistance, then I'd look for that retest and look for continuations to the upside, right? So looking at this, I even have this support. I even have this support zone marked out. So obviously now this is kind of like I'm adding confluence into my trades because I now have previous support and it close below. If we get now price closing above the brick wall and that intraday support, then obviously let's look for a retest 
and look forward for continuations to the upside coming back to our what to our previous key level with what price failing to break we move to the downside price breaking out we continue to the upside so that will be my take people that will be my take and i'll keep it that simple like i say people like i say like i say like i explain it like i break it down from the monthly we're looking for that bearish or that bullish breakout of our support or our resistance or we simply trade support and resistance with the field to break on the weekly we're looking for price to give us size that we are really breaking out or we are really failing to break right on the daily there's nothing much that i can say on the four hour we have our break well we have our break wall, right? And we have our key level. We're looking for price to do what? To give us signs that we are really gonna break and retest and continue to the upside. Or we are gonna tap on our right on our break wall and continue to the downside, people, before me. So that's my take. This is what I'll be looking for and this is what I'd be hoping to trade. I'm not looking for much, I'm not looking for less. Price breaking out, we continue below. Price breaking out, we continue above. Price failing to break, we continue we reverse. Price failing to break, we also reverse. And that will be it, people. I hope I keep my trading. I hope we keep trading simple. We keep it legit. We keep it real. We stick to our plans, our system. We follow our rules. We stay disciplined. We stay patient. We stay committed. We stay consistent. And we block out the noise. And we keep all distractions of our lives. And we most of all do it. Trust our trading and trust our process. The soap boy Harlem.